I think people have a misconception of most chiropractors because there are some that just crack you and they're like, okay, I'll see you in a week. And they don't get to the root of the problem, which is why I really try to explain to people and reinforce that that is not how Dr. Kathy works. I came here and instantly knew I found something special. My first visit here, I was here three hours. My first visit at my other chiropractor was a half hour. We're gonna do some postural exams here and I'm gonna incorporate some of my reflexes into them because really they're gonna tell me more about what's going on with you than normal exam things. But because we are a doctor and they say we have to do those things, we're gonna document what we find from a perspective like this. So, you ready Alyssa? I'm ready. All right, she has a high left shoulder. Don't move your head. <laughs> She has a head rotation going to the right. I'm going to be asking you to do some different motions, and then we're going to ask you, is it uncomfortable, stiff, sore, tender in any place? And if it is, we'll find out where that is. Okay. Or we'll record that. Okay. I want you to bring your chin down to your chest. Okay. Does that hurt or is that uncomfortable? That's strange, but... Where at? Uh, right here. Okay, so cervical flexion produces stiffness and pulling at lower cervicals and upper thoracics. We're going to go through some tests. These are some strength tests, yep. and we're going to see if any of these go weak. If they do, it's going to tell us about how the nerves are coming off of your spine okay. and at what levels and whether or not they're shutting down any of your strength capability. Okay, okay. put your head back down. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold tight with this leg. Don't let me push in and hold tight with this leg and don't let me push in. That's an L5 motor test. That appears to be pretty good. I want you to bring this leg straight up off the table without bending your knee. Don't let me push down, hold, good. Bring this leg straight up and don't let me push down. And that one's not so good, okay. <laughs> this yeah. is an L4 motor test. I'm gonna reach underneath your back right here and I'm just gonna touch that L4 area, uh -huh. and then we're going to have you pick your leg back up again, and we're going to okay. see if it makes it strong, because if it does, that means there's some rotation in that L4, okay. and by adjusting that, we can increase the strength in this leg. Okay. okay. So, bring this leg straight up, and hold, and that's much stronger, isn't it? Yep. Okay. So, if I take my hand away, bring your leg back up again, and hold, and you can't do that at all. Nope. Okay. So, we'll file that away as a positive exam finding. Uh, that's an L4 on the right that's neutralized by a therapy localization to the right L4. She adjusts things that nobody else will adjust because she looks at the whole body and I've been to other chiropractors and they don't. They look at the back or the hips and that's as far as they go. She didn't ever just say, well, the book says this. She looked at him for how God made him. She really sees you, the whole you. That's what I love. I feel like when he is here consistently, he is the very best version of him that he can be. This is day two of your visits with us. And how did you do after we adjusted you the first time? Very well. Okay, very well. great. Well, we're gonna do a little procedure here today. And what we're gonna do is a thing that we call switches here in the clinic, but it's taken from neurological organizational technique. And if you remember from our exam, when we had you put your fingers up here mm -hmm. and down here and open and close your eyes, we talked about how those pathways sometimes get interrupted. Right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reset those today. Okay. And as we go through this, I'll explain what we're doing and we'll be able to um, more effectively treat you and move forward instead of taking two steps forward and three steps back. Most of this is gonna seem pretty soft and easy. There's a couple of places where we, we may actually do chiropractic adjusting, okay? But for the most part, we're just gonna be rubbing some different reflexes, which I'll explain as we go through this, okay? So I'm gonna actually talk to you about everything that I'm seeing as we go through this protocol. What I'm looking for first is to see which one of your legs might be short this morning and what happens to that leg when we pick it up like that. And what I'm seeing is that you have a left short leg that when we pick it up actually remains short. And that's what we're looking for to start this protocol because that means that you have what we call a lateral atlas over here on the left side, on the side where the short leg was. So I'm just going to contact this lateral part of your atlas right there and just hold it. And it's going to just kind of move away from my finger ever so lightly here in just a second. Take a deep breath in. 
good. And blow it out. There we go. And then we're going to go back down here and we're going to look at your leg length again. That left leg got longer and relax your knees. And it also evened out in that position. So now we know we may proceed. I think this is personally created for an individual without respect to time. It's driven by what does that client need at that time, and that's what matters. This is just gonna be a repeat of what we did with those first set of switches, the neurological organizational technique. Hopefully this is gonna go really, really fast. Normally, 80 to 85, 90% of these will remain strong from the first time to the second time. And sometimes it's 100%, so we'll see where you fall into that even though you've done a 2200 mile drive in the last few days. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just relax your knees. I'm gonna pick your feet up and down. Good, that starts out well. Your feet are almost even just starting out here this morning. That's a good sign. All right, bend this leg at the knee for me. Hold tight, don't let me push. Great, put that leg down. Bring this one up and hold. Good, put that leg down. Okay, this is the part where you're gonna put your hand underneath your stomach and touch your belly button with one finger. Okay. And I'm going to find the end of your tailbone here and touch it. Bring this leg up and hold. Very good. Put that leg back down. Okay, now I want you to reach up here and right underneath your collarbones. I want you to touch where my fingers are wiggly. Okay. Good. Those are your K27's endpoints on the kidney meridian. Bring this leg back up again. I'm going to touch your tailbone and hold. Excellent. Put that leg back down and put your hands wherever they're comfortable. Okay, can you open and close your eyes right there? Yes. All right. Again, you can start with them open or closed. Doesn't make any difference with me. And if I want you to go from one eye option to the other, I'll just ask you to change your eyes. Okay? Yeah. All right. I'm going to use this leg for a test muscle again. If it gets tired, uncomfortable, let me know and we'll use this one. Okay. Here we go. Bring this leg up. Hold. Good. Change your eyes. And hold. Hold. Good. And hold. Change your eyes. And hold. Probably one of the things I like the most about Kathy is she has multiple modalities that she can turn to. So she doesn't just do crack your back type thing. And she can turn to all these other modalities and blend them and suit them to the individual. From what I know about the human body is that we're not a one size fits all type thing and it can vary from day to day too. And so um, that's one thing that I feel like really separates you from um, other chiropractors that I've seen is that there is room for so much more healing because there's so many different modalities of treatment used. So as we know, you've already told us why you're lying on the table right now that you hit your head on a sandbar. And so a couple of days ago when we worked on you, we had some indicators that told me that we were going to be doing this cranial injury. First thing I want to do today is I want to go through and I want to check those indicators, make sure they're still present because we don't want to do the wrong thing at the wrong time. And then if they are, then we'll go into the whole protocol about how we're going to get everything synced back up for you with your neurology so that that cranial injury isn't going to cause some things on down the road. Okay, I want you to bend this leg at the knee for me and I want you to hold it as tight as you can. Hold, and you can't do that very well. <laughs> bend this leg at the knee, and don't let me push down. Hold, and you can't do that either. Okay, now let me pick your head up off the table. Don't let me push it back down, and it's kind of wobbly. Turn your head to this side. Let's see if anything else is affected. Hold, and that is, and turn your head over here, and don't let me push, and that's a little weak too. Okay, so, what we're going to do here is when we get all done with this, all of those muscle tests that we just did should be strong. The indicators that I use for cranial injury need is bilaterally weak hip flexors and bilaterally weak neck flexors. So in order to do this cranial injury, I'm going to explain to, what, to you what we're going to do here. Okay. I'm going to hold some places here at the back of your head and when I'm doing that, I'm going to have you move your eyes right, left, up, and down, okay? And I want you to go to your far end ranges of motion when we're doing that, because we really want to use those eye muscles. Then after we do right, left, up, and down with your eyes open, I'm going to have you close your eyes, and we're going to do right, left, up, down. Okay. After we do that, I'll have you open your eyes again, 
and I'm going to have you do some circles with your eyes, okay? And you're just, again, going to try to follow to the end ranges of motion. Okay. And come back this way for me one more time. Okay. When you go across this way, I'm picking up what we call a little bit of nystagmus. Okay, which is your eye just kind of twitching a little bit before it engages and goes ahead and follows around. Hopefully as we do this, a lot of that's going to go away okay. until at the end when we do this, it should be pretty much gone. When your heart and your mind can meet up and you have someone saying, yeah, we can, we can work on this. It's going to take some time and we've got to partner together and you've got to do your part, but I'll do my part. And that's what I feel like I've gotten here is um, just someone looking at me in the eye and saying, we'll get better.